the last four years have challenged us in ways we've never imagined, and we've come through stronger, tougher, better. Under the leadership of Governor Mary Fallon, Oklahoma has changed for the better. She made the economy her top priority, and managed to reduce the unemployment rate almost half as well as Obama and the Democrats have. She promised to make reducing the size of big government her top priority, and she has. She managed to close one half a billion dollar budget shortfall by creating hundreds of millions of dollars in shortfalls elsewhere in the budget, and maintained the state's debt at 44 billion, all while balancing the budget. And that makes sense because numbers. Most of all, she did it while cutting taxes. Her top priority as governor. Because Mary Fallon knows ensuring Oklahomans get to keep an extra $29 a year is far more important than making sure state offices are properly staffed, that our bridges aren't collapsing, or that public education is a thing. Standing up against an encroaching federal government became her top priority, as she turned down their offer to pay for the health care of well over 100,000 Oklahomans at no cost to the state because that money had Obama cooties all over it. And she stood up to an out-of-control EPA because drinkable water, breathable air, and fertile soil are all part of a UN communist plot to take our guns and eliminate the sport of golf. And when we faced our greatest challenges, she was there to lend a hand, share a hug, and to pray. Pray, 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 God, Jesus, babies, pray. So this November, remember that Mary Fallon is praying for you, Oklahoma, because God knows she's not doing anything else for you.